I know you're familiar. Dame Dash is selling his third of the Rockefeller, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, we're going to get into it. So this this was what his thoughts was, and this is how he pitching it. As we all know, one third of Rockefeller Inc., which owns Reasonable Doubt, is for sale. And I've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of offers. I, I don't know if people are hummer stunting, you know, or, or not. We'll see who shows up. But I definitely got some very healthy offers. And I appreciate those. And, you know, obviously, if someone's trying to hate on the price or trying to uh, devalue it, it would be because they want to buy it, you know, like a first right of refusal. So if you do want to buy uh, one third of Rockefeller Inc., you are going to have to bring some bread. And anything over $10 million, I'm going to sweeten the pot. You get an original Rockefeller chain from off my neck. So, you know, I say, because I was the only one that gave out Rockefeller chains when Rockefeller really existed. If I don't give you the chain, it's not a legit Rockefeller chain. You get one of these, this is legit. This is the old school one from off my neck. You know, like how when I took one off my neck and gave one to Kanye, Cameron, all that. So, again, if you're going to call... Please have the intention of spending some real money and actually completing the transaction. But uh, if you come with the right amount of money, you're going to get a chain. Or, you know, at least you'll have to battle with homeboy on the first right of refusal. Hop. All right. Go ahead, Anton. No, no. I'm going to Slimmy. I'm going to Slimmy. Slimmy, what's your thoughts? Oh, man, it just seems so desperate, man. Like, they ain't got to... They ain't got to chill, man. You got to chill at this point, man. It just, stay off of social media. <laughs> just chill, man. Don't say nothing else. Put, put, that company, put that company in your shares up and don't say nothing. Just sell it. Well, part of the reason why you got to sell it. Light. For, for part of the reason he's selling it is because of the, the lawsuit that he got to pay. I think it's like eight hundred and seventy two thousand or something like that. I don't don't quote me on the exact amount, but it's in the upper eight hundred thousands. And then whatever the proceeds from this is going to go towards paying off whoever it was that wound up selling them for the lawsuit. So and then I guess he'll get the difference, maybe. Man, Dame, just do yourself a favor. Fall back, sit down. You don't think he chill. should be leveraging social media? No, no, no. He needs to stay away. He needs to fall back. Why? Why you don't think he should be leveraging I'm social a, media? To be honest, he's he's embarrassing himself. <laughs> this is embarrassing. You think he like, he embarrassing himself? Like, why are you trying to pawn off a chain? That, that chain don't have no worth. Like, what <laughs> if to somebody that's spending ten million dollars? What the, what is that chain? What is that? What is that? Man, the, that Rockefeller chain is only worth something if you were in Rockefeller. Like, if you were in there, like, back in the day, like, what they gonna do? Melt it down? Like, I. Now, see, if I start talking, then they gonna act like I'm being too harsh and shit like that. So, I'm gonna leave it up to you and Mika. And if Quentin wanna jump in and give his thoughts off, also. They ain't tripping, man. That's, that's all I can say, man. This is this this is bad. This is bad. Nah, you don't do you? Buy it? Do I want to buy it? <laughs> I I think that it's a bad yeah. deal. Like, why would I listen? At it's 10 a bad M's, deal. Any businessman, unless you're just incredibly nostalgic, right? Unless you're just a trick, you a tricking dude, and you just got some kind of affinity for reasonable doubt or something like that and it changed your life and you just want to hold on to it for the next six and a half years or something. I can't see the return on investment. Even for a couple million, I don't see the return on investment. You know what I'm saying? Are you telling me? Well, first of all, Jay controls it because Jay owns the majority shares of this project, right? So, Jay determines what happens with it, what doesn't happen to it, because he's the major, major, you know, understand the majority owner of it. The value of it, in my opinion, outside of the nostalgia, if you're just looking at it from a business perspective, is only based off of what the return on investment could be. 
right? So unless you just, again, if you just tricking and you just want to say, oh man, Dame gave me a chain. Cool. Listen, I'm not knocking him. Get your hustle, get your money on or whatever. But as far as the return on investment of holding on to us for this thing and only getting a third for the next six and a half years of something that you can't even market, can't even leverage. I remember Dame Dash was supposed to be trying to do like an NFT and that got blocked and all of that. So Jay could block whatever, right? He could do whatever it is that he wants in order to prevent it. If he don't want that shit on on so on, on iTunes or Spotify, and I'm not even but sure. Didn't, didn't Dame Dash do something like that? Jay tried to do something and Dame Dash was like, nope. I, I don't I know nothing about something. that. But first of all, I'm going to say what I said on my other channel. Symbolism is dead. Like, I don't give a fuck about no yeah. chain, dog. Like, that's one. If you just want to know my opinion. But at the same time, again, it's like, what's the value of it? What's the value? Unless, like I said, if it's just symbolism, but what's the value of owning something for six years that ultimately revert back to the artist itself anyway? Oh, nah, wait, man. Wait, wait. That's oh, okay, so you saying... Okay, so you're saying in six years that Jay Z is allowed to get no, all the shares back? He owns it. It, it there were, after 35 years, the rights revert back to the to the person. Oh, you know what I'm okay, saying? Well to the then, okay, so now I get what you're saying because I was going to say, well, if he's if he still gets to own the shares, then it's still. But now I get what you're saying. Okay, well then, yeah, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't think okay. that anybody, unless you're just a, a fucking athlete or a rapper that just want to throw away some money. I don't know. I don't know if they got that type of money to trick off, unless you like a Jay, Jalen Brown or something. Like, oh, I don't understand the the investment proposal of it. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm saying. Thinking he has one third for the life of it, and so so that's why I was saying like, oh, you wouldn't want to buy. You wrong, like Five Brown. Uh, they say that Biggs already sold his 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 third over to Jay. They said that Big sold his third, his third over to Jay. So he would be the majority owner if he owned two thirds of it. I don't know how true that is, but based off of all of the research and the different interviews and stuff that I've been looking at, they said that Big's already sold his third over to Jay. Okay. And so why I, wouldn't I, I he have totally sold his? He, it was best for him to sell his early because he would be in the same fucking position. I minus the lawsuit. Mm. I, I got to look that up. Why, why does he have a lawsuit? Is it. Is it it was something completely unrelated to that. It was something oh, okay. else. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. If if he if he's if he's gonna get it anyway, then I guess what he's trying to do at the last minute is just make money off of it. Because I guess by holding it all these years, he was kind of sticking it to Jay Z. I guess because Jay Z. Because somebody just said in the chat, I remember hearing something, but I don't care that much. So I remember hearing something that Jay-Z was trying to do something, but he couldn't do it because Dame Dash was like, no. Yeah. J Dame suffers from... Uh, mm -hmm. He suffers from... Bitch-assness. No, 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 no. Dame suffers from... Um, he suffers from past success. Right, because you're always going to be measured for mo for the most part against how great you were. So even if you say, "Well, Dame is not broke because Dame Dame's broke is you know whatever." Let's say you make a quarter million, even a, whatever you make a year, right? Because it's a lot of costs associated or whatever, so on and so forth. But that's broke when you're comparing him to not only where he was, but comparing him to his peers as far as the war. And let's be clear, when you get to this level and when you get into certain spaces, especially if y'all didn't fall out and y'all wasn't on good terms, it's definitely a battle and a war. And Jay is winning the war. He is absolutely winning the war. Not only is he winning the war, he about to completely, he about to put the cherry on top of this shit. Because he the artist, it not only comes back to him, no matter what, he wins. He wins, he won on the money side, he won on a, on a woman's side. He wanted everything. The only thing that people could ever say, the only thing that people could ever say, and that's the only thing that they say, well, it's the same shit. It's like what Flip Wilson said on Above the Rim. They can't change what we was. They can't change what we was. You know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> What's that? Okay, on Above the Rim with Pac and him, Flip, Bernie Mac. Yeah, um, Bernie Mac. 
he used to he he it was Shep. So Tupac's brother was Shep. He was a security guard, and Shep had start, stopped um, them from like teasing Flip, and Flip was like Shep. You know, he was he recognized Shep. And he was like, they can't change what we was Shep. Everybody keep wanting recognition for what you did. I'm going to be honest with you. Dame suffers from his greatness of what he did in yesteryear. And so people are comparing and evaluating it because he has not been able to reinvent himself in the same way that a Cam and a Mace has, in the same way that a Gilly has, in the same way that, you know, he hasn't been able to carry a torch or anything like that because he hasn't been able to pivot and open up other businesses and all of this other type of stuff, which I don't knock him for that because that's just life. Because he also had a level of arrogance, what happens is he suffers from his own success when you compare him to what he was in yesteryear. And the reality is that no, and especially in a social media era, nobody cares about what you what you were. Most people don't even know what he was unless you were O-head. They only care about where you at and what you do. What have you done for me lately? I mean, I, I I mean, here's the thing though. Like, I don't think Dame Dash is not um, a guy that couldn't do it. I think he stays just stuck in whatever happened between them two. Because I think Dame Dash is very is a very smart guy. I've even heard Jay Z say that Dame Dash is a very smart businessman. But for some reason, he just wants to stay there, and I don't get it. And it's like he it's it's like it's like uh what 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 is that company? Def Jam, right? Mm -hmm. They started out with Run DMC, what, in the eighties? And they've been able to pivot up until they just sold it. But they've been able to pivot with different artists. Like why couldn't Dame Dash do that? Yeah, it's uh I mean I mean because the game has changed and you gotta evolve with the times. You know what I'm saying? Like different people moving on to different things and they managing different things and <laughs> It's, it's just a different time, right? Like, when Dame and them came out, they was actually selling albums, and they had album deal. You know what I'm saying? Even the way that record labels dealt with artists and all of that stuff, and he had a marquee artist that they could leverage. Um, and when the fourth quarter came, they can drop a J album and, and clean every all of the books up and all of this stuff, but it's a, it's a different time. It's a completely different different time. It's, it's, it's an independence game. It's... It's you know leveraging your visibility. But he on knows social that game because Jay Z comes from the independent game. He they were doing that before he got that deal. Which well, they couldn't get, Jay Z couldn't get a deal in a minute. For yeah, like but for that a was minute, way Jay in the nineties. This is two thousand and twenty-four. Right, but it was harder then to be independent. Was it? Than it yeah, but now is you it? have the the internet. It makes it so easy to be like you can get your own distribution I don't think deal. So. You you can get. I have. I have a deal with Sony for distribution. Yeah, but, but like you, you, can, but, you can do but, distribution all on your listen, own. They listen. have only a distribution deal. At the end of the day, Jay Dame got a bunch of artists. They still got to sell a record. Yeah. And you still got to stand out amongst the crowd because it's easier to get a deal, but it's much more difficult for you to stand out amongst your peers. It's just like content creation. Listen, the barrier to entry for you to go and start a YouTube channel is very easy. It's a very, but, okay, but the kids, how, how the kids listen yourself? to everything. When I say they listen to everything, like if you look at the if you look at the demographics in music, like I'm just learning YouTube, but the demographics in music is so like you can run the game. There's artists that you don't even know, and they they are making they are making millions. Like when I say it's that easy, if you just if you just put like if you want to really do it, it's that easy. But again, the, independently, it's anyway. it's harder to separate yourself because now you're competing with everybody that don't that have a, the same barrier to entry. He has a lot of artists. He has a bunch of people that sign to him, but he's not cultivating them. That's the problem. You don't. You shouldn't have to cultivate people. That's all. That's not the game no more. It's not an A and R game. You either you hot, either you getting it out the mud, and you getting it, or you not. No, they still have to because they okay. So a lot of the a lot of the people nowadays they think they think because the artist is viral. Where well, they're learning that with a lot of the artists now, they have to cancel shows because they thought 
that that viral sensation that they got on TikTok was going to translate. Just because the kids like you on TikTok don't mean they want to come out to your shows. Like Sexy Red is, is canceling shows left and right because she can't sell out arenas. And neither can Ice Spice. I but agree. They're, Which but means they're viral. Harder. Those but chicks don't viral. have no talent. But, but, but my point is that but that's it what still I'm saying. means that's that what it's I mean. more... That's it what still I mean means by that it's harder. Artists. It still means that that's harder then. Even though yeah, you have the visibility, it's still more difficult. Because now that, that like, like that, there are no ANRs now, so it's like agree. Well, there I are, guess. but they, 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 there are ANRs, but they don't want to, they don't want to do the work no more. I don't. You think don't. You don't, they, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. It's like that okay. because Slimmy, you remember back in, you remember at least in the two thousands, right? You would have a, a an artist who have a. A and R, hell, not even in two thousand. Look at Cardi B. Cardi B, because that's that's how you know I got that break. Cardi B's manager and eighty and A and R are the one. Cardi B didn't didn't know how to cultivate nothing. They did it for her. Right. They put also, that so, together. They found all the all, all the writers. And yeah, but 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 let's be clear. Let's be clear though. And that's two thousand and sixteen. Yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Cardi Think B, about this Cardi B created her own buzz and got her own visibility way before that ever even played. She was on Yeah, but her music wasn't selling. But, it wasn't but selling my, at all. But she, she still had to be she still had to be visible. She still had to be popping. She still had I to like No 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 I'm talking about Cardi B. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying what I'm saying is a lot of things still got to work for you. When you think about all the look if you, when you think about all of the women that's in the game right now, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you got a let's say you got a good 10 that you can name, right? That's the hottest, the visible, most visible. For those 10, for those 10 that's hidden, it's a million of these hoes that ain't hidden. Mm -hmm. That is all posting, dropping, TikToking, yellow herring and shit like that. And they not I'm not hating. Hidden. When I write for never mind. No, don't don't say that, Mika. Just <laughs> but no no no. What I'm saying no. is let her let them talk. The the barrier to entry is is lower. It's easier for you to be able to do what you want to do, produce it, whatever, drop content, whatever. But you got way more competition because it's not. I will agree there. Yeah. It, so it so it balances itself out. Okay, it's harder to get on because you had to sign with somebody. You had to actually, you know, what I'm saying, get with the dis distribution network or whatever. So it's easier to get on now and get visibility, but it's way more competition because it's not as focused as, as well, this label is going to put this out or universal or whatever, so on and so forth. Now, er anybody can do anything they want to do. And so you got to be able to separate yourself. But back in the day, they used to sign artists and put them on the show, right? If they wasn't, what? if they wasn't like the top artists so, and they would use them as tax write-offs. So it, it kind of, I don't know, maybe it's kind of the same thing. Right, because I'm not I'm not used to the old school way, but I know in the mid two thousands they were doing that, and then they pivot from that because of the digital, you know, the digital pivot that they had to do. Yeah, another thing though, the, another thing that why the industry, music industry, well, the music industry is so watered down is because you got people who aren't actually artists that participate now, so that kind of like take attention. Yeah. A way that you you wouldn't have an artist you wouldn't have like a comedian so say like um i was thinking about this earlier kevin hart he be he does like rap videos sometimes from time to time and it takes visibility away from other from the actual artists because people are gonna go his whole following is gonna go oh we gonna tap into this and we don't care about what the what actual artists that are i disagree here doing well, well, I, I think it's kind of like the same thing as the YouTube thing, right? When all the um all the big people that were on the prime time networks were like, "Oh, they're YouTubers," and now mm -hmm. they're over here because but, they. But see here's the thing, though, for every one of them, for every Shannon Sharp, it's mm -hmm. a thousand of the motherfuckers that ain't get no play. Right. Yeah. And if they not on them networks, they can't survive, and they don't know how to thrive on YouTube. Cause this shit is hard, and you if you basically yeah. is an independent and you can't compete, and so you know what I'm saying like it, it's like I look at a lot of these for every podcast P or for every mellow, 
There's another podcast of another basketball player that is shit, and it ain't nobody heard about it, and that shit is going in the ground. But you want to know something, Anton? Like what I just what I've noticed with um, just the you know going on the fourth month that I've been doing it. Mm-hmm. If you're actually consistent and like steadily trying to build, because I went from having zero to a couple of thousand. But you're working it. You're evolving. Days. You're evolving. You're working it. See, when I got in the game. It wasn't no blueprint. We was yeah. I was just, we was figuring that shit out as we went. We was the we you know what I'm saying? honestly, and it's a lot of YouTubers that came up with me. They not here no more. They yeah. flamed mm. out. They flamed out. They gave up. It's it's over. You know what I'm saying? So we was in a wild wild west. It's kind of a you know what I'm saying? Like y'all can kind of get mentorship. Y'all can tap in. Y'all get questions and all of that other type of shit or whatever. Definitely. Y'all got yeah. other and not other why. Y'all got other social media platforms to help you promote it and all of that. with TikTok and shit like that now. It's different yeah. now. But when we was when we was in it, it was a wild, wild west. But but to get back to Dame in particular, um, just to put a cap on this shit, I think that nobody cares about what you did. The only thing people care about what you did when you did. They give you your flowers when you did. For for most people, they only yeah. care about what your greatness looks like now. Mm-hmm. That's it. They only care about what whether or not you hitting now, or whether or not you evolved, or whether or not you're going gracefully into, you know, your greatness or your latter years and all of that stuff. People, don't, man, well, listen. When you getting out here and you, you, people don't give a fuck about that, and they gonna judge you based off of what your current circumstances are or what they what you're perceived circumstances are regardless of whether or not you are you're not they're gonna judge you based off of those perceived circumstances and if you looking dusty (laughs) or at least they think you looking dusty regardless of what what you actually have because i you know get it how you live i ain't tripping like get get your money big dog if you if you're projected to be dusty and you're being compared against the person that's supposed to be your op and this nigga up a billion or two yeah. It's ugly. Yeah. Dave Dash loses in the um in the optics department, right? Because what whatever, whatever, like if you know about Jay-Z, you know. But on the optics front, he has better optics, right? And he he's been able to pivot from rapper because the young kids don't want to hear Jay-Z rap. Most of them don't yeah. even know Jay Z's rap. Five five you know? brown. Fa Brown is so so biased. Dame Burst yeah, for the artist. Listen, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Listen, it's a lot of people that say, oh, the Manosphere came from. I just heard so many fucking names, it don't even matter. Guess what? Them niggas is dusty. You can't change what we was. They can't change what we was, Shep. Nobody gives a fuck. It's what have you. Listen, the minute. The minute that I feel like my flame is not flaming, I'm out. I'm out. You're not going to push me out the game. I'm going to leave. I'm going out like Kobe, nigga. I'm, <laughs> I'm going out like Kobe. The minute that I feel like, all right, you know what? I got nothing left in the tank. Or I'm out here looking dusty and I'm big. I'm out. Yeah. I'm gone. I'm going to retire. I'm not. I'm not. But... The mind, the movement is moving, and so that's what we gonna do. We gonna, we gonna love <laughs> it. We gonna some, get that but shit. But I've seen some YouTubers. Honestly, I've seen. Don't some nobody YouTubers give a fuck though. about what they did in the past. Some YouTubers yeah. though are able to like. I've been watch. I've been watching some of these YouTubers since I was in school, and they're still like really popular. Especially, Correct. Like, it's the some way- that it's some that figured it out. They they moving. Yeah. They evolving. They changing. They moving with the times and stuff like that. Hey, listen, listen. Hold on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Who went in the war? Who went in the war? 
<laughs> oh no, no, no. It's 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 for real. Listen, you know what the roommates did? You know what a uh, Hafiz from the roommates did? He that bowed out. Like, well, he didn't but he did he got pushed out. Okay. Coach Greg, Coach <laughs> A, Coach Greg Adams beat that ass. <laughs> I and remember. Then, and then pearly things came in and put a flame on that nigga and set him on fire. And Next thing you know, he was like, he, he was talking with his <laughs> lisp. He was like, so guys, you know, um, I'm going to go ahead. Like, nigga, you got, he, it was over. It was over. Some people figure it out. Some people was a moment. Some, some of us, we celebrate and some of them, you got to let go. Yeah. I have, um, to the person in chat, I have a I have a publishing deal. As far as artistry, I'm independent, but I have a publishing deal. That's why I do the writing. Mm-hmm. Hey, he should have picked his battles better too. High cool. fees, high fees. Yeah, he got real emotional that last time I saw him when he was arguing his point, and I said, "Oh, he can't come back from that." You gotta you gotta pick <laughs> your battles. You gotta pick your battles. Honestly, you got to pick up battles. And so, again, like, I don't know, man. Like, God bless them. Everybody got to survive. Everybody got to eat or whatever. It's just, it shit is just not aging well, bro. And niggas is not going to bully me and tell me what I can and can't talk about. If I want to talk about Dame Dash because a nigga's a content creator now, then I'm going to react to the content. I don't talk about his personal yeah. life. I don't talk about his personal life. I don't go into no kids or nothing like that. I don't do that. But the fuck, he he creating content. So I'm going a, I'm to a react to the content. Fuck you, niggas. <laughs> He's creating fuck content. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I don't know him. He going to get the same treatment as everybody else.